The people of Richwood have brought the Nicholas County Board of Education to court, and Newswatch's Ashley Gafaro sat through the hearing and has the details on what happened. None of those types of secret meetings occurred. That was the superintendent of Nicholas County's response when she took the stand Thursday afternoon. After a tough decision was made Tuesday night by the superintendent and Board of Education to consolidate schools in Nicholas County, the people of Richwood decided to take this to the court system. We have felt all along that uh, a lot of decisions were made behind closed doors, behind the drawn curtain, and the upstart of what happened in that courtroom today is that we now have discovery and can pull back the curtain and find out who said what and when and find out how we got to be where we are because frankly up to this point we've been out of the loop so this is a good day for Richwood. The mayor of Richwood as well as many residents feel that the Board of Education disobeyed the Sunshine Law. When WOAY asked the superintendent's lawyer for comment he declined. Only one board member Phil Barry who would not talk on camera said he thinks the hearing went reasonably well and for the people of Richwood they are going to continue to fight. Today to me feels like the beginning of what needed to come out. Um, all the facts are finally starting to come out and we're finally going to be entitled to receive that information. Richmond is a town that won't die. We won't give up. We have so much tenacity that we will never stop our fight. The next scheduled hearing will be in 60 days on May 10th here at the Nicholas County Courthouse. In Summersville, I'm Ashley Gafaro reporting for Newswatch.